na tuko hapa kwa mambo ambayo mmeyasikia sisi kama viongozi wa chama cha uongozi katika kaunti hii hatujafurahia mambo vile inavyoendelea wa uguzi wamekuwa kichukuliwa kama ni wafanyikazi wa kupagia wa uguzi wamechukuliwa kwa hii kaunti bila heshima ambayo inatakikana hao watu wameenda katika vyo vya kutumia uguzi wameenda hata zaidi ya miaka tatu wametoka wakiwa wa, wanajua wako na license za kupakit nasi sasa hii contracts ambazo tumekuwa tukipata hapa katika Nakuru County zimekuwa ni contracts ambazo hazitofurahishi hata kidogo tumejaribu kuzifuata na tukifuata tunaambiwa serikali iliyokuwa pale awali kabla ile ambayo ilipo ilifanya makosa kuajiri contracts mara mbili kuna contracts ambayo ilikuwa ya, ya hospitali watu walikuwa natuja hapo wanaajiriwa kuna wala wengi wanakuwa naajiriwa na, na public service board ya Nakuru sasa walikuja wanasema watu wanataka kusafisha ile makosa ambayo ilikuwa ikifanya lakini jinsi ya kusafisha makosa wao nafikiri ndio wamekuja na ile uchafu mwingi ndio wamekuja wamezingitia ndani ya wauguzi sasa hata ile walikuwa kitoka hapa ili waende wa waajiriwe wa na, na county public service board ambayo kwa kweli hiyo ndio ndio employer watu wa employer from one source lakini nayo njia kuwasimamisha nayo ndio njia ilikuwa makosa notice imekuja haina wakati wamekuja tu wameambiwa nyinyi wote muapply na mtaitwa muende katika interviews watu wameapply wamegojea advertisements advertisements hazikujawahi kutoka inside ya kugojea waito kwa interview wamepata wenzao wameambiwa wewe rudi kazini wengine wakaambiwa hauta rudi kazi kwa hivyo kuna communication wale waliobaki communication na hakuna sasa swali imekuwa madam governor alipokuwa tukifanya campaign na tukasema hii serikali tunataka kuitengeneza serikali tuwe ndani ya serikali ili tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja hatukutaka tukuje wakati serikali imetengenezwa na tukakubali na uguzi wenzetu tukampigia David akasema tutawaikingia kitu ya kwanza ni kuangalia mambo ya uguzi kumbe kuja kuangalia mambo ya uguzi ni kwanza kuamuta kazi na kuelekea manyumbani sasa koti imeelekea huko yule wameingia katika kotini kama vile mwanzangu alivyosema koti wote imetolewa na hii koti wote imekataa takwa hao watu walikuwa imiti kwa kupata covid ya tingieni kazini wamekuwa wakiripoti kazi kutoka Jumamosi tarehe 20 wamekuwa Jumamosi Jumapili wamekuwa hapa Jumatatu kufika ndio wameambiwa sasa nyinyi hamta hamta na kazini sababu mambo yenu hatujapata nini communication kutoka kwa employer na kutoka kwa county office headquarter sasa wamekuwa kikamp hapa kwa HR HR ndio anaambia mimi sijapata communication yote sasa tunauliza ni kitu kigani hicho ambacho kinaendelea hao uguzi wa kusimamisha kazi sababu wako na disciplinary issues hawakuwa wameidia mtu yote hawakupigana na wakubwa ile criteria ilitumika ndio wao waondolewe wengine warudi kazini inakuwa ni swali kubwa ambayo tunaikitikiwa tumekuwa tukifuata hii maneno kwa muda na tukasema wa mikutano ambayo tumekuwa naye tumekuwa tukisema tunataka communication sababu communication ndio imekuwa ikileta shida inafanywa kitu ndani ya ofisi tunasikia kwa media tukasema tuwataka tuko tunakaa chini tunaongea tuna agree na tunajua nini inafanyika hii kwa hivyo hii mambo ya hawa watu wetu tunatona hapa nasi sambao wako nyuma yetu tumekaa mpaka tukoona ni mambo ambayo haifanyike hata ieleweki tukasema baada hawa nasi swaje wao wakiti hapa kila asubuhi na hakuna kazi ambayo wamekuja kufanya afadhali waambie jawabu moja na ya mwisho ya ukweli kulingana na court order ambayo ilitolewa on 27 kutoka kwa employment local hapa za Nakuru tunasikia kule at employer amekimbia kule lakini hata alipoenda kule kujaribu kupinga hii court order waliambiwa hiyo court order inasimama na muende back kwa hiyo judge ambaye alipatia na hiyo order muende awasikize na itakuwa ni mwezi huu mwezi wa nane tarehe 15 kwa hivyo kabla hiyo tarehe 15 tungeuliza county na public service board warudisha kwanza hawa uguzi tugoje kesi itakapochukua ile mwelekeo itachukua ili hii mambo ya tocha iondokie yon, kila mtu kitu ya pili nataka kuongea ni kama vile mwanzangu aliongea mambo ya promotion 
na kumbuka promotions na kuru county tulipokuwa tukiongea tulisema namba na tuka agree waguze zaidi ya 544 na wanne walikuwa wawe wawe promoted to the next level of grades na waka advertise budget ilitengenezwa but unfortunate wengine wame wamepromotiwa kama 318 zaidi ya waguze moja na tisa wamejiwa sababu zao ambazo zilifanya wasi, wa, wasi promotiwe ati wengine ni sababu hakuna nafasi na nafasi zilikuwa zimeadvertiseiwa sasa tunauliza unadvertise kitu yenye ambayo hakuna mnasema hakuna pesa ama mnasema nini sababu budget ilikuweko hii pesa ambayo imebakia balance kwa hiyo last year financial year 2022 2023 financial year hiyo budget ya promotion imeenda wapi tunataka kujijua vizuri na tuelewe kitu kingine ni hii mambo ya contracts as we speak kuna wauguzi ambao wameemploy from 2016 nao tumekuwa tukiambiwa hawa sasa hii wote ile wote stand on pnp that is permanent and pensionable unfortunate tunasikia tu jana ati wamepatiwa a extension of the contracts ambayo hata tuelewi ya miezi tatu na hii miezi tatu itaisha mwezi wa kumi. ili kutoka hapo tena ijulikane ya wengine ambao itakachukuliwa kuna ile contract ambayo imeisha mwezi uliopita tarehe na moja. hawa ndio wamepatiwa contract ya miezi ngapi? ngapi tatu alafu kuna contract inakusha mwezi wa tisa. hiyo contract ya mwezi wa tisa umepatiwa contract ya mwezi mmoja ni wapi ni contract gani hizi even you cannot define na tunakosa kuelewa kwa nini wauguzi peke yao ndio wanakuwa wa, 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 wa subjected na mashida kama hizi na kama wanaona kweli nurses hawafanyi kazi wangekuwa na communicate furthermore they should understand that nurses are the backbone of the hospital bila wauguzi hakuna hospitali ukiondoa wauguzi wenye wako hapa usambe hii hospitali badisho iko hoteli inaweza kuwa hoteli sababu wauguzi wako kwa hiyo shida ambayo inaendelea kupigana tuelewe ni shida ina gani. Sasa ile kitu tukimaliza tunaomba governor your excellency tunakupenda. Hii serikali tumetengeneza pamoja. Wakati hii sifike wakati tunataka kupata matunda ya serikali unaanza tena tunaanza kukula makopo. Vitu ambazo waziweleleki. Tumeanza kupatia matunda ambayo yamekauka. Matunda ambayo yameoza. Na wale ambao wako kwa ofisi ya professionals wanajua lakini sababu wataki kufanya kazi yako wanakuja wanafanya vitu zao hiyo ndio maana serikali watu wameanza kulalamika na serikali yako na tafadhali tunakuomba mahali popote huko tunakuomba utuite kikao tukae chini tuongee tujue tutaendelea na mgani katika nakuru upande ya afya na tukifanya namna hii rafiki tutapata jawabu na kwa hayo mimi sina mengi ya kusema kwa wakati huu labda tuelezee ni wangapi waliweza kuliwa na wakati wapi kwa sababu tunaongea ile namba exact the number sababu the whole of the country tunachukua statistics lakini wale ambao wamebaki hapa oh thank you hawa ndio wale ambao wako sasa wale ambao tuko nao hapa ambao hawakupata kuna sasa ya, ya PGH huko na wauguzi zaidi ya sabini na tisa ambao wamewachwa ambao wako hapa ni maeti hawa tu ni from PGH 79 from other facilities kama Naivasha Naivasha tu huko na na wengine 47 in total so 79 plus 40 plus 47 that is the number of the nurses who have been left behind they are sitting and they are following to the letter the court order to be implemented here we don't have even to negotiate about that court walienda na wamefanya na court imechagua sasa hii mambo mengine ya kusema waacha wakae tugoje the outcome of the court wanatakiwa goje outcome or they went just having the patient that is our aim na tutaki mambo mingi hapo tu ndio tumefika other is tunawashuku na mwingine anaongea my name is Beatrice Sijenyi I'm the organizing secretary of the Kenya Union of Nurses na Blue Branch 
and I would want to cite mine is very few. We as the union and the, as the nursing fraternity, we are very disappointed. Simply because I did, I did know the Nakuru County can violate the court of law, the rule of law. Kenya, we are governed by the law. When an order comes from the court, it should be respected to the latter. We, don't, we, did, we did not expect that the, our nurses would still be out yet. Yet the court order was saying so clearly that they were to report on duty immediately, for which they did. We had a lot of promises during the campaign. So we are, so we are uh, requesting high access to the government. Kindly let's follow the rule of law. Let's not be in contempt of the court. Let's respect our, our law organs and let the nurses go back on duty. The rest we can, can call us on the table and we discuss. Where people sit and discuss, nothing can go wrong. But let nurses be treated as if we are not members of this county. Nurses do so much in our health facilities. They serve diligently. Some of the nurses that were laid out, actually they are the best performers. We as the seniors nurses of, of, of Nakuru VGH, especially where I'm working, we have trained these nurses, we have mentored them. Some of them are working in specialized areas like ICU, theater, and you realize that some of them are out here, seeking back their work. So why should we always create time, mentoring, and then they are sacked? They are chased without renewing contracts. Can Nakuru County improve on the contracts and their terms, as they promised? And when it comes to the issues of promotions, we are also really so disappointed. Fine, we do appreciate the few that got, but we expected so much because we, kept, we sat down with the health department and we saw the vacancies and we agreed. And actually the vacancies were advertised. People applied and people were shortlisted and they applied. Really, the budget was there. Now what has happened, that now only a few got, a few have not gotten. Yet we had the budget. Where has this money gone to? And for how long will we fight? We don't need to antagonize each other. We can sit down and iron these issues once and for all. But let nurse, our nurses not be treated like the dormants of the hospital. We are actually the backbone, and it really pains us. Because when any victimization comes, it is always the nurses. So my plea is, can the department plus the board, can they sit down and eye on issues and let's get a solution, a permanent solution to these problems? Thank you. My name is John that those vacancies so that they can apply in any other Kenya. So we waited for the advert, but the advert never came. So uh, what we got is that new people uh, came to replace us. Of which was, was very unfair for us. So, uh, most of us, like me, uh, I'm a father of, uh, I'm a father of one child. So, uh, I'm, in, I'm in distress because I don't know which of the, how my how I pay the school fees and uh, other bills for my family. And, uh, so, I mean, that is that, that's the question that we are asking the Nakuru County government to, 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 to also to respect the court order and allow us back into our, into our station. Because what they did to us was very unfair and uh, it was not right. And uh, we don't know which criteria they used to, 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 to terminate us, obtain other members. That is what you ask, which criteria do they use to terminate us and also to, to retain others. Ni takriban wiki moja tangu jaji Helen Wasili kuagiza serikali ya kaunti ya Nakuru kurejesha takriban wafanyakazi 800 haswa uh, 780 ambao uh, kandarasi zao zilifutiliwa kinyume na sheria wafanyakazi hao wa afya 
wakilama wa uguzi madaktari vile vile wafanyakazi wa saidizi katika hospitali tofauti kwenye maeneo bonge 11 kwa kaunti hii ya Nakuru Uh, tunaungana hapa na washikadao baadhi yao ambao waliweza kuathirika na uamuzi huo na wanaweza kuweza kutimiza zaidi. Tunaanza kwa majina na kuelezea iwapo uh, hospitali inaweza kuafikia uh, ajili ya mtoto. Okay, kwa makina anaitwa Rose Master, Secretary Kenya National Union of Nurses. Tuko hapa sababu sasa kaunti ya Nakuru itakubali kuendesha wa uchizi wa asili hasa kwa directive so kwa tuko tuko tunasikitika sana because these are our children hawa ni watoto wetu wenye wanaumia hapa walirudishwa kazi na wa serikali ya Nakuru county government of Nakuru imekataa kuwarudisha instead of They have wana kibia up and down. Wanataka discipline moja. Ndio isimamishe hii yao ya kutoka. Kama kiongozi wa uguzi hapa ni kwa uguzi haswa wangapi waliathirika kutokana na uguzi? Kama Nakuru County yote ni 126 nurses. Ndio wao wa watu wa Umejaribu kuzungumza na uongozi haswa kama hospitali ya Ya, tumeenda kwa wakubwa wa TTH tukifika huko wanatuambia wao hawana sehemu hawana wao wanangojea directly to the public service board from the department of health county so they have that wao wasi hakuna kitu watafanya hawawezi waweka kazi bila kupewa directly na umeweza kufahamu iwapo kwa wale ambao wameweza kupatiwa kandarasi mpya kuna wauguzi ambao walikuwa wame akandarasi yao imeisha hapo awali na wamejea katika kandarasi hii mpya imetolewa hivi na hivi ya kuna kama ndako hii kama Okay. Na mmoja pia tusikize kutoka kwa muuguzi mmoja ambaye aliweza kuathirika kutokana na hatua hii. Kwanza kwa majina na kwambie hali imekuwa vipi wakati ambapo mnajaribu kufikisha mambo. Jina ni Karamu John Mahia. Mimi ni ngoni mwa muuguzi ambaye walikuwa affected na hii mambo yote ya contract kisha kuwa ni ni <laughs> story tu kujeni sisi tunangoja ripoti ya nani tunangoja ripoti ya nani so tumekuwa tu tukizungushwa tujarudi kazini lakini tumekuwa tukikuja kwa DH kila siku wetu wenu kwa uongozi wa hospitali hii lakini ni maeneo ya msingi ya wa wabeko toda sisi turudi kazini tuendelee kushughulikia wagonjwa kama ilivyokuwa na mahali ndio hiyo Bado mapambano 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 bado mapambano mapambano bado mapambano bado mapambano bado mapambano 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 bado mapambano 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 bado mapambano